Hello friends, I hope all of you are preparing for Accenture off campus or on campus exam. So I have brought uh, a previous year question that will help you most uh, to be more prepared. Okay, let's uh, read the question first and I will solve this later. An autobiographical number is a number in such that the first digit of n represents the count of how many zeros are there in n. The second digit represents the count of how many ones are there in n and so on. You are given a function def find, find auto count n. This is given in uh, Python. I will solve the problem through Java. Um, and the function accepts string n which is the number and checks whether the number is an autobiographical number or not. If it is, an integer is returned. That is the count of distinct number in n. If not, it returns 0. Uh, this is assumption that the number string will not be longer than 10 characters. Input string will consist of numeric characters. Note that if the string is none, return 0. Uh, example, uh, there is a sample input. Uh, n, is, n is equal to 1 to 1 0. Uh, and the output is 3. The explanation is the first one. The first one is the count of 0. And the second um i mean second index that is uh one index this is count of one and this is count of two this is count of this is count of three so here is uh, the the sum of the string is one two one uh one plus two plus one so this is four and the length is equal to four so sum is equal to length that means we'll start counting the distinct character it fulfills our conditions so we'll start counting the distinct characters the, so the distinct characters is uh, 0 1 and 2 so the output will be 3 uh, let's say we will have another example um, 1 0 2 0 0 1 3 say uh, here let's say uh, let's take it in inside a string okay so here the length of the string is 6 and the um, sum of the string is 3, 2, 1. That is also 6. So, this fulfill our uh, conditions. That means the sum is equal to length. So, we will start counting uh, the distinct characters. So, here the, the distinct characters are 0, 1, 2 and 3. So, output will be 3. So, uh, sorry, 4. So, this way we will solve the problem. So, let us go to solve the problem. At first, try yourself. If you face any problem, then come to watch. Okay.